In Brazil, there is a controversial plan to have a heterosexual pride parade, and the article reads, quote, The largest gay parade in the world may someday have a rival. In Brazil's capital, Sao Paulo, the annual gay pride parade has grown from 3,000 to 3 million in 15 years and is now a major tourist attraction. And then it goes on to say, Sao Paulo City Council member Carlos Apolinario recently proposed a heterosexual pride parade, which the council approved by a vote, only to have the mayor, mayor veto it. Apolinario says in current Brazil politics, it has become impossible to criticize the gay rights movement. Gays have become untouchable in Brazil. No one can say a word against any gay person, no matter what excessive behavior. Apolinario said, After a proposed religious march to be held on the same central avenue where the gay pride parade is held was rejected, Apolinario began to lobby for a heterosexual pride parade to be held one week before Christmas. The proposal was immediately attacked by more than 200 civil groups who said that a heterosexual pride parade would encourage homophobia and violence against gays. And in terms of the homophobia and violence against gays, there are some people who would absolutely, unfortunately, be violent against homosexuals and unfortunately would do things that don't help the situation with homosexuality. In other words, and I covered this in a video before, for some people, homosexuality is a thorn in the flesh and homosexuality is nothing to celebrate. And people say, oh, you're a homophobe. Well, I'm not a homophobe for saying that even nature says that homosexuality is not something to celebrate. And I talked about in a recent video where Paul talks about his thorn in the... Well, it was in that same video where... Or maybe a different video, but you get the point. I talked about in a video where Paul wrote down that he had some kind of thorn in the flesh and we don't know what it was and if you look at the Greek it could have been anything and it could have been homosexuality for all we know and where Paul talks about being single in 1 Corinthians 7 especially as someone pointed out it was very unusual for members of the Perushi sect to be single and there was one case cited in Talmud, but that's another discussion. The point is, homosexuality is nothing to celebrate. And I just don't see a problem with a heterosexual pride parade for someone who wants to legitimately say, Hey, I'm heterosexual, and I may not agree with the homosexual lifestyle, but that doesn't mean that I'm just going to be quiet. I'm going to... I'm going to encourage heterosexuality and I'm going to say that I understand that at least for some homosexuality is a thorn in the flesh but I'm not going to be quiet about my heterosexuality. I'm going to say listen I'm heterosexual but I'm even here to help homosexuals who are legitimately struggling with a thorn in the flesh and want to be celibate or even want to see if they can become heterosexual, if that's possible. And I read, interestingly enough, on the blog failedmessiah.com, I didn't actually read the article, it's all the headline, but I read where a Jewish clergyman is actually marrying gay men to lesbian women, so you can get around these things about being homosexual. It doesn't have to end a marriage. It doesn't have to end your life. You can, you know, if you are homosexual, you can say, listen, I'm homosexual, but for the good of society, I'm gonna get into a marriage of convenience. And it's even as Bill O'Reilly pointed out, and he's in support of civil unions, and he's mentioned this on the factor because he even said that he has two homosexual aunts, but he said that if for no other reason, 
homosexual marriage should not be allowed because what would happen to reproduction? What would happen to keeping a society having its future generations if we don't allow heterosexuality to be celebrated and to, at least for reproductive sake, to be, I guess, an option, if you will, or whatever you want to call it, what's going to happen? So the point is, I just, I don't see a problem with a heterosexual pride parade as long as you're not being homophobic and as long as you realize that for some, homosexuality is indeed a thorn in the flesh with which people are struggling and for all we know that Paul could have easily been struggling with.